Hello everybody, welcome back to some more God of War 2, and today we're going to continue on from where we left off last time. This time we're going to go ahead and head down this way. I think we were heading, or we're trying to head to the Temple of the Fates, was that what it was? I believe, and yeah. It sucks that we only have like a thousand orbs right now, but I would love to have at least five thousand, but getting orbs takes a little bit of time in this game, but don't worry. We'll get enough just to get everything upgraded, and of course... If I have to, I'll play through another playthrough, just so I can get everything upgraded that way. Which includes, of course, you know, the Blade of Olympus, which... It's not really much of a spoiler, because we did see it in the beginning of the game, but you do unlock it later as just a playable weapon. Just for funsies, pretty much. And it's not a bad weapon, believe me, it's actually pretty freaking badass. It, it took me a long time to realize how awesome it was, because, like... Mortal Kombat and I think Soul Calibur allowed Kratos to use... Maybe it wasn't Soul Calibur. I know it was uh, Mortal Kombat. They basically made the Blade of Olympus like his ultimate basic, you know, finishing move and stuff like that. And it's just kind of lame. The fatalities just didn't suit me very well. I don't think so. I didn't, Well, yeah, I kind of meant to rage, but I didn't really exactly want to do it right then and there. I have a habit of just pressing buttons for no apparent reason. Especially the sticks. Because when you play a game that, you know, like, when you play COD, you have to keep, or or even um, Battlefield, for example, you have to keep hitting, you know, the left stick in, and yeah. Now, what you can do is you can use the Bane to go ahead and take out these guys from afar, but you don't have to. And now, you guys remember back in the original God of War that these enemies, when you rip them in half, you get no orbs from them. But now, of course, like I said in a previous video that you actually do retain orbs from uh, breaking enemies in half like this so yeah keep that in mind too let's go ahead and break this guy's neck let's just take these guys out because I don't really feel like getting a combo off them I would much rather just go ahead and get well I'll take the I'll take the 10 hit combo but then I'll just go ahead and snap his neck um, I would just much rather just get the execution bonus for it instead that's just what I feel like is more reliable. It's just getting that plus five instead of just that plus two. That's still like three extra orbs, and trust me, that can come in handy. Now, the thing about uh, magic versus health, like which one you should get first, if you see the opportunity, always get magic first. Even if you don't have a lot of magic left, just try to get magic first because if you die enough times, or I think even if you die to begin with, I think you come back with full health. Or close to full health, either one. I would... Well, actually, no, we can't. Okay. I was going to say, I, I'm going to go ahead and slip around this way. Try to avoid the sirens. But that almost didn't work. I was trying to avoid the cutscene. But we can go ahead and avoid the sirens altogether. Well, I mean, we still have to kill them. But at this moment in time, we can just go ahead and uh, climb up here. Only problem is, if you die, you have to do all this again, which sucks. But, hey, it's it's there if you need it. I, okay, I guess we did get something out of it. Yeah, by the way, getting Phoenix Feathers takes a while compared to Gorgonize. You're going to get Gorgonize first, but you will get Phoenix Feathers, or you will upgrade your Magic Bar. Or Actually, you'll, you'll upgrade your Health Bar first, and then you'll upgrade your Magic Bar, pretty much. I think there was one playthrough I've had where I've actually upgraded the Magic Bar before I upgraded the Health Bar, but at the same time, that was probably because like I didn't know, or I might have missed, probably like a Phoenix, or I might have missed a Gorgonize somewhere or something stupid like that. Uh, the trick with these bitches, you know, I can't really say if there is one or not. Maybe knocking them in the air, or maybe even using just basic rage on them would probably definitely help out, obviously. And of course, you know, using, uh, your Bane. But I think, uh, yeah, I think getting them in the air is not a bad idea. And of course, if you grab them from the air, Kratos will... He'll grab them, and you'll pull them right back to him, and you'll punch them away. So, it's not really that necessary to go ahead and do that. But, you know, of course, like I was just saying earlier, you can't knock them in the air. Now, let me show you what happens when you press L1. That. That's what happens when you press L1. It's almost like a counter, basically. Now, the thing is, even though you are in rage mode, you still do take a lot of damage. So keep that in mind, that you are not invincible while you're in rage mode. And that should go ahead and take out the door, and that should kill off the other sirens. Yes, it did. Alright, sweet. So we get our magic bag. Let's go ahead and grab these health orbs, and then, yeah, there's a safe spot right there. But, as of right now, I don't need to really technically save it. This part's a pain in the butt, especially if you're just going to run this. So what I recommend doing, I just, rec I just recommend doing the rolling exploit. Which is basically you just keep rolling, you keep tapping square. Don't tap triangle, because actually, well, hell, it doesn't even work if you press triangle here. 
which I just now found that out. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, triangle will be a move that, that uh, that's an upgraded move later on. Whenever you evade and press triangle, it's kind of lame, but yeah. So just go ahead and just keep pressing um, square. Sometimes I'll accidentally press triangle, which will end up screwing it over. But yeah, I, I just I highly recommend using the rolling exploit on that one. Because honestly, running all that way across that chain just takes forever. So I'm not going to do it. Alright. If only Kratos could fly. That would be nice. Alright, let's see here. You need the horse keeper's key. But the question is, where is the horse keeper? So the, this is the steeds of time, as they call it. And I, th I think basically, well, they're frozen in time, pretty much. They will move eventually when we when uh, when we have the opportunity to get them to move, but as it stands right now, they're not going to move. So, oh, is there actually anything down here? No. Okay. Well, I just wanted to double check because you never know. It is a let's play, and things seem to never really necessarily go my way in a let's play. So, might as well check just to be on the safe side here. of Sparta, then what they say is true. Theseus, of all the fools who try, you would be the last I would expect to seek an audience with the Sisters of Fate. And you are the last one I would expect to become a servant of the Fates. I serve and protect the Sisters of Fate for the glory of Zeus. The time of Zeus is coming to an end. Hmm. You seek the sisters to kill Zeus. <laughs> you no longer possess the powers of a god, Kratos. I doubt you're capable of killing me, <laughs> let alone the king of Olympus. Let me pass, and I will let you live, old man. I do not think that is your choice to make. Come forward. Let us finally see who is the greatest warrior in all of Greece. Alright, so this is our next boss fight. And this is Theseus, and yes, he is a pain in the dick. The thing about him, though, is he will block a lot of your attacks, like so. But if he blocks enough of your attacks, he will eventually um, try to retaliate with an attack. So that's obviously a pretty good chance to do an opening. Whenever he goes for that lunging, not that, not the lunge, um, whenever he goes for, oh shit, oh I actually made that, awesome. Typically I screw that up a lot. But whenever he goes for like an uppercut looking kind of move, that's when you want to go ahead and press, or uh, hold down the triangle button and you can knock him back in the air. This is a part that actually tends to hit me a lot, sometimes. Or actually, well hell, you can just press the square triangle move and... Oh! Oh, I still got him! Damn, sometimes I... Wow, that's weird. Like, everything's actually working out just fine and dandy, which is odd. Yeah, you just press triangle. You don't have to hold triangle, but you just press triangle. You can build up enough combos on him. So just keep that in mind. That would definitely help out eventually. Especially... Damn it! Especially in later playthroughs. Yeah, see, if I knew I was going to figure... I figured I was going to screw something up. Uh, let's see here. The thing is, like, in the cutscene, he says... I used to think he said, this is... But no, he says Theseus, I, I believe so. That's what I believe. Well, after, you know, I realized what his name was, I think he says Theseus. Whenever, okay, this is his next phase. Whenever he climbs up there, he's going to start summoning down Minotaurs, and whenever you get too close, I'll show you in a second. If you get too close to the door, he'll eventually summon these icicles. You can use that to your advantage to take out the Minotaurs. The Minotaurs, I think, actually will drop health orbs if you do execute them. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Now what you're supposed to do, actually I think they drop magic, because we're supposed to use magic. Yeah, I think it's just magic. It might be both. Well, I remember. It could be both, hopefully it is. That would be nice. But I think it's more magic, because these are like ice minotaurs. Yeah, they drop both. Okay, sweet. But they give you a lot more uh, magic in terms of... Or in, in place of health, basically. I think if you just, you know, if you just kill him normally without even executing them, I think you still get magic orbs no matter what. I think so, but I'm not going to try that out, because I would rather just be on the safe side and just get the magic orbs. So kill these two minotaurs off, 
And then while we have the opportunity now, since we've got plenty of magic, go ahead and whip him down with, with some Bane attacks. This is now his third phase. He's only got three phases, so just go ahead and take him out this way. and he will He's easy pickings, practically. Until the harder difficulties, then you have to really learn how to take out his fight. It's more of a strategy fight than really anything. You just have to know how to... Or you just have to know when to attack him. And just, again, to fight up the Minotaurs, he's not really even that hard of a fight, really. He just hits hard, and that's the one thing. Especially with those icicle attacks. Granted, they can be random when they come out, and they can hurt like a bitch, like so. And no, you cannot block them either, which sucks, but... Hey, I mean, I wouldn't expect it. It's coming up from the ground right into Kratos' poop shoot, so... That I'm not surprised about. By the way, have I, really, have I ever really mentioned that Kratos has a really cool design? I always enjoyed Kratos' design. I actually heard that originally his his tattoo was supposed to be blue. But they changed it for red. Just, I guess red just makes more sense, you know. Color of blood. And a game like this, a sense of blue would be kind of odd for Kratos, especially. Considering his color scheme now, with all you know, the red pants and the red leggings, or whatever the fuck those are. That... Uh, leg armor. Okay, there we go. Now we basically got him killed off. Now all I have to do now is grab him, and then we're gonna throw him right into that door, stick him into the door. And this is weird though, because we shove it in there, and that unlocks that side of the door. Okay, now I see how it worked. Alright. Just keep slamming his head down. I don't think you can. No? Yeah, you do get a 10 hit combo no matter what. Alright. So that's an extra plus two orbs, and now we killed off him. Unfortunately, we don't get any uh, orbs for killing off a boss like him, though, which suck, sucks ass. Kratos offered the Steeds of Time to the sisters in a, f a futile attempt to change his fate. Uh, we have all the magic. Doesn't matter. Okay. Why was I not walking <laughs> for a second there? That's what I wanted to know. So we'll grab this chest real quick. We'll head back down there and make sure I didn't miss anything. Cause I sure hope I didn't miss anything when I went up here. I don't think I did, but you never know. No, on this game, it's quite a possibility. Nope. Alright. That's where... Well, we don't need to go that way. What we need to do is go up here, grab this chest right here, and I think there might be more door... Or, there might be more chests. No. Okay. Just making sure, because you never know in this game. Again, it's all... You know... You know... You know... You know, it never hurts to check. So let's go ahead and open this up real quick. And yeah, I don't know where Kratos puts all his stuff at, but... Who cares? It's a freaking video game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Alright, so. Let's plug this in and we'll get a cutscene eventually. Soon. Enough. Together, warrior. Before my fall in the great war with the gods, I hid away the last remnants of my magic. For the good of the titans, I, Kronos, now bestow what is left upon you. Use it well. Okay, so now we have acquired Kronos' Rage, and Kronos' Rage basically takes, it's in place of, um, basically Poseidon's Rage, where it's like an electric attack, and yeah, you can just keep doing this, and you'll get, like, a hell of a dandy combo going here. Now, what you could do is you could just easily just keep breaking your combo and just getting, like, a crap load of orbs. As you can see, you get plus 10 for, like, every 100 that you get. But you can imagine once you get like a thousand, you're gonna get like a shitload of orbs by then. Basically a hundred orbs. I think there's actually a trophy for getting like a thousand or something like that. I think I'm thinking of like a different God of War, maybe. Well, there, okay, some of these God of War games for like trophy-wise, you do get like these odd um, 
have to get like a thousand combo bullshit. And of course, you have infinite magic there, but as you've seen what I did there, I basically executed the enemies. I did that due to the fact that I have a Let's Play going, because if I did that in a normal playthrough, I would not do that. I would just go ahead and grind up as many orbs as I can, which was, or I would just try to get as many hits in as I could, instead of just basically, you know, as many orbs. Because I don't think about orbs when I play by myself, it's just like I just go through the game and whatever happens, happens. But with like, with like a Let's Play, I want to make it as more convenient as I possibly can. We're about to get our um, Magic Bar upgraded pretty damn soon. So before we go ahead and save the game, let's roll our way over here and head to this next area. I forgot I have to go down here. If you think you can walk on some of these paths, then most likely you probably could. Alright, so let's pull this lever. And now we have to run all the way to that green looking horse keeper key mabobber, which is over here on the left side. And it's the first one on the left side. So we're going to go ahead and put this in. And yes, don't worry about the timing. Whenever the, but, whenever the button prompt for the R1 comes up to put the... Uh, basically put the key in, you'll have plenty of time to basically put the key in. They're not going to fuck you up. Even though logic dictates that that would happen. But this... It's a video game. Who cares? Why, why even bother questioning it? This might be a Gorgonite. Hopefully it's a Phoenix Feather. No, it's a Gorgonite. I think there might be a total of two um, extra items that we can get in this this area. What you could do is you can go ahead and get the blue lever done now, but I would just rather just get the the ones that are closest to each other done, and then I'll work on getting the far ones. And yeah, these horses do look really weird in this gaming, or in the in terms of like the graphics and stuff. Guys, you should. What what was how did it go? You should go other girl for her gameplay, not her graphics. I think I saw that recently. It was funny. Okay, so now we have these harpies that are flying around. And of course, we have these harpies that we can kill that are flying around. They're pissing me off. So let's go ahead and kill them off. Oh, wait till we get um, a Medusa's gaze ability. That's when we're gonna like get them orbs coming in quick. Because you get like plus 15 for every crushed enemy you get. And yes, spoiler alert, you do get like a Medusa's Gaze ability. I'm not going to spoil exactly what it's going to be called, but we'll, we'll wait to see that when we see that. Now, won't we? Alright, so now let's go ahead and fly around here. And yes, there's a shitload of harpies, which makes me think that only harpies exist in the God of War universe instead of birds. Which is not necessarily true because we've had griffins and ravens flying around, but... I mean, in terms of, like, harmless birds, I don't think there's any harmless birds ever. Or harmless bugs. I think everything's basically out just to kill us. That's what I think, uh, how God of War rolls. Whoa! I about fell down there. Hell you. Okay, come on, hurry up. Let's go. This part's kind of a pain in the butt, because you have to, like, keep running around to the next side and just... It sucks, but... It's what you gotta do. Fortunately for me, I don't think there's any harpies that are going to spawn. There shouldn't be any harpies that should spawn. Well, I guess there was only that one chest then, huh? Alright, well that sucks. Nope, there they are. Speaking of the devils. Yeah, these ones give you plenty of time to unlock these. So now we've basically unlocked their eyeballs and we're going to get them to move and all that other good stuff. So let's go ahead and call out these little bastards here. Throw his ass on the ground and rip his wings off. Nice. That's how you do it. That's how you should do it. That's how it should be done. It should be done mercilessly. Oh, come on. It didn't even... I'm not going to jump that far away just so I can... There we go. Yeah, sometimes you got to really take that chance of jumping. Now, this part's actually pretty fun. I'll show you guys why in a second. First, we're going to go and lift this up. And now, what we have to do is we have to command the steeds to move. So, how are we going to do that? Well, Kratos whips out his old, good old-fashioned Blades of Athena. And... Now we're going to go ahead and whip him into shape. Alright. Now, I mean, I really think this is really cool, though. And, like, this final one is just... I don't know, it just... It's so cool how it works like that.
I will admit, sometimes the cutscenes in this game are actually kind of cool. Even though, you know, comparing like how old they they are and dated now, but at the same time I feel like they're not necessarily that bad of graphics. Anything like that. Uh, so yeah, you jump down here real quick. I think even I think when we cross that train that that chain, that train, yeah, whatever. Whenever we cross that chain, there should be a safe spot coming up pretty soon. Of course, there was a safe spot back there that I totally neglected, having the opportunity to go ahead and save the game. But you know what? I figured we got plenty of time to go ahead and whoop some asses. So might as well just do that. Or I can just hit that door and just go save it real quick. Go back up there. Oh, shiza. I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my rage of the titans on this so I can get these guys killed off. Yeah, like I said before, I don't... Yeah, y you can't do anything with the combo meter just yet. But later, whenever we upgrade our blades well enough... Oh, you do? Okay, sweet. Whenever we upgrade our blades well enough, eventually the Rage of the Titans will have, like, a, a ability where you can use your combo to basically summon a, t uh, summon a tornado and kick some major ass. Uh, I, I didn't feel like you killing him. No, I didn't feel like executing him. I, I figured I'd just kill him off normally. Oh, for a minute there. It was funny. Like, I was looking at the time. The time stamp on my video. I'm like... Okay, 21 minutes, alright. And then I looked back and it looked like it said 27 minutes. I'm like, what? What is this? Morning? It's like, you know, like when you wake up at like 6 o'clock in the morning and then you go back to sleep and then you wake up again. That's like an hour later and then, or you close your eyes and you open your eyes again and all of a sudden it's like an hour later. You're like, what the hell? And then you close your eyes one more time and it's another hour later. You're like, the fuck? <laughs> uh, Chronos is... Ooh. That's pretty close to being upgraded, but I'm not going to use it as much, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to try to get um, Athena's Blades upgraded as quick as I possibly can. And surprise, surprise, folks, I'm going to have more than one video uploaded this weekend. That's awesome. I might be doing more. And hopefully if I can get the group together, we can do some Spadazzle videos pretty soon. Think about doing uh, Bloodborne on our channel. Maybe. We'll find out. Anyway, folks, without further ado, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time when we play some more God of War 2. And as always, take care. Everybody.